Okay, April 14th. Uh, April 14th, 1865, Abraham Lincoln signs the law that creates the Secret Service. Um, this is a bit ironic because he was shot on April 14th um, and died on the 15th. So, but on April 14th, the, the, his last one of his last acts was to sign the law that created the Secret Service. Now, I say kind of ironic because at the time it was created, it was created to um, fight counterfeiters. Uh, it was estimated about a third of the currency in circulation at that time was counterfeit. And so the Secret Service was created to try and get rid of all that counterfeit money and to catch the counterfeiters. Uh, it wasn't until 1901, after the assassination of William McKinley, that the, the Congress finally said, you know, the Secret Service, we need you to take on this duty of protecting the president. Um, so today, um, oh, and at the time it was created, it was one of only a handful of federal uh, agencies that were doing any sort of criminal justice, law, law enforcement. Um, the Customs Service, the Post Office, the um, U.S. Marshals, US, the United States Park Service, um, and custom, yeah, so these are the only ones that were doing it. So the FBI hadn't been created, the CIA hadn't been created, the um, Department of Justice was there. But so at any rate, um, so 1901 is asked to take on protecting the president. So presidents were given lifetime protection um, until 2003. George um, W. Bush signed a law that limited it to, I think, 10 years after they leave office. Uh, Barack Obama signed a law that reinstated this lifetime protection for former presidents. Um, and then the protective president, the vice president, the president's children, vice president's children. Um, the president's children get uh, Secret Service protection uh, 10 years after he leaves office. So uh, Barack Obama's children will get Secret Service protection for 10 more or 10 years after he left office. So six more years or seven more years. Um, and then uh, the, the president can also indicate who he wants to have Secret Service protection. It doesn't have to be just the president, vice president. So if he's got a cabinet member or somebody that he thinks is of, of, of real importance, he can provide that protection. So that's what I have for today. 1865, uh, Abraham Lincoln signs the law that creates the United States Secret Service. I will see you tomorrow.